Hi friends! So this week we're going to learn more about baby animals. Um, and the first two books come from a collection called Furry Tales. And it's called a collection because this book has nine smaller books inside. So I'm sure you have a book like that at home. A lot of times it's a bedtime story book. Um, this is a collection of books about animals. So the one we're going to read today is called, well the collection is called Furry Tales. Um, and the person who put the collection together is Garth Williams. And I believe he's also the one who did um, all of the pictures, I'm pretty sure. He did all of the illustrations but the books were written by different people originally. The authors are different. So our first one is Baby Animals. And one of my favorite things about this book is the illustrations. And it's also one of my favorite things about baby animals is looking at them. So this is the perfect book to see some really cute animals. Baby Bear holds his toes. He wants to be a circus bear when he grows up. He wants to make all the children laugh. Baby Squirrel has come to see what his little cousin the chipmunk is so busy doing at the end of the long branch. Baby Chipmunk has a delicious nut and he is going to stuff it into his cheek before the baby squirrel gets it. They both like nuts to eat. That's another thing I really like about this book is there's a lot of non-fiction or real facts about animals, but there's also some fun parts like the bear wanting to be in the circus. Is it true, is it a real fact that chipmunks and squirrels eat nuts and acorns? Yes it is. Oh, baby fox, that's what's in my yard right now. Did you watch the video yet? They're so cute. Baby Fox is full of mischief. He is hoping he will find a sleepy rabbit to chase. But the rabbits are hiding. Baby Lamb is dancing over the hills and meadows. It is spring and everyone wants to dance after the cold winter. That's true. Baby Opossum is pretending to be dead. If a big bad dog comes along, he will play dead and the dog will go away. I think that's a strategy some animals really use. Playing dead so that they don't get hurt by another animal. It is. Baby Skunk is fooled by his playmate lying so still. Baby lion roars, Arum! just like his father. One day he hopes he will be king of the jungle too. Baby tiger says, you frighten me. Baby tiger looks like a great big kitten and he loves to play like one. Baby giraffe is so tall that he has to bend down to stay in the picture. He never makes a sound and he can run very fast. I didn't know that about baby giraffes. They don't make any sounds. Baby monkeys swing from branch to branch. He holds on with his two hands, with his two feet, and with his tail. Baby orangutan also lives in the trees. He is putting a leaf on his head to keep the sun off. Baby kangaroo hops like six rabbits. He uses his big tail to keep his balance so he won't fall. Baby koala bear lives in Australia like baby kangaroo. He sleeps in the eucalyptus tree at night and eats its leaves in the daytime. Remember what this plant was called? Eucalyptus. Baby Woodchuck has been asleep all winter long. Hmm. 
What's that called when an animal sleeps all winter long? Did you say hibernating? That's right. Now he is eating tender grass and a small tasty root. Soon he will be very plump. Baby Mink has just caught his first fish. He is going to show it to his mother and then eat it for breakfast. Baby Rabbit has hopped away from his mother's side. His eyes are wide open. He sees a big bumblebee. I don't think I will go any farther, he says. Do you see his mommy? Where's the mommy? In the grass, yeah. Baby raccoon washes his apple. He never eats anything he has washed. He never eats anything until he has washed it first. He even washes a fish. Do you remember that from our, when we were learning about the forest? And we did the book about forest animals and what they do. And the raccoons dunked, they dunked all their food. That was the word they used in the other book, dunk. Baby camel walks very well and can go for a day without drinking. He keeps food and water in his fat humps. So that's why he has those humps, to store food and water. Oh, last one. Baby owl says, Who's undressed and who's in bed? Who's awake and who's asleep? Why is the owl asking all of these questions? Who's undressed? Who's in bed? Who's awake? Who's asleep? These are all questions about bedtime. Does the owl stay awake all day or all night? All night. He's nocturnal. It's a cute baby owl. That's it for today, friends. Um, I hope you have a fun time matching your mommy and baby animals.